In the Fire and Rescue Service, success in commanding incidents has often focused on technical skills, such as applying standard operating procedures or optimising the use of resources. Of equal importance, however, are command skills. The ability for someone to assess a situation, lead and coordinate a team, and make the best decisions at the right time. Such command skills have been critically referenced within reports following a number of fatal incidents resulting in HSE and government guidance focused on this area. THINKS was developed as a tool to fill a gap in assessments by providing the first behavioural marker system to assess the command skills of incident commanders. A behavioural marker system, as used in other high-risk industries such as aviation and healthcare, is based upon a set of performance critical skills that are evidenced through specific, observable behaviours. For example, a sub-skill of the Situational Awareness Command skill is anticipating incident developments, and this might be evidenced through the behavioural marker of a discussion about a contingency plan. In this way, THINKS enables trained assessors to observe and rate the command skills performance of incident commanders. This assessment can take place at a live incident, exercise or computer-based simulation or after the fact by watching a video of an incident commander's performance. The specific command skills that are assessed through THINKS are assertive, effective and safe leadership, effective decision making and planning, interpersonal communication, personal resilience, situational awareness and teamwork and interoperability. THINKS was co-developed in conjunction with the National Fire Chiefs Council by myself, Dr Philip Butler, and Professor Robert Honey of Cardiff University, and Dr Sabrina Cohen-Hatton, also from Cardiff University and Chief Fire Officer of West Sussex Fire and Rescue Service. THINKS is useful to both fire and rescue services and also to individual commanders. It's helpful for a commander because you're able to identify the bits of command that you're doing really, really well, and also the bits that you might need to improve and practice and develop a bit further. For a fire and rescue service, it is invaluable for identifying the trends that you have in your commanders, where they're using their skills really well, and particular circumstances where they might need to improve as well. It was funded by the Economic and Social Research Council and the Fire Service Research and Training Trust. Evaluation of the tool involved personnel from across the UK Fire and Rescue Service over a seven month period, proving THINKS to be a valid, reliable and robust assessment tool that complements technical command assessments. As we develop the THINKS system within the service, we're already seeing the advantages of delivering it. It is allowing us to support individuals in their own development and improving the standard of their incident command. We provide individual feedback to personnel, uh, but also allow them to understand what the key roles are across the incident grounds and to try and observe the best behaviours possible with regards to that. To use THINKS, first you need to get a free licence. With that comes free access to THINKS familiarisation training, THINKS observation and feedback documents and the THINKS app. The next step is to get personnel trained to assess incident commanders in accordance with the THINK system. That is observe, review, rate and feedback. This is a three-day classroom-based training course that provides trainers with all the knowledge and skills they need to assess incident commanders using THINKS.